So for example, what is the measure of one angle in a regular decagon? Now one approach to this is you could just memorize all of these problems that are tied to memorizing the names of the uh, polygons. You know, memorize, oh, it's a dacagon, that means it has 10 sides, and each interior angle is blank, and the sum of all the interior angles is blank. That's a lot of numbers to memorize. I wouldn't recommend it. The easier approach is just to figure it out on the fly for what you need. First of all, let's get the sum of all the angles first. So the sum, well, let's see, the dacagon is how many sides? 10 sides. So that's 10 sides. So the sum, 10 minus 2 times 180, gives me 8 times 180, which is 1440 degrees. So that's the sum of all the interior angles on that figure. So how big is 1 if it's a regular? How do you figure 140? Alright, take this divided by 10, because if it's regular, that means each angle is the same. So if I take 1440, divide it by the number of sides, Degrees. Take a note to myself, that's the number of sides. The most common mistakes that come up with these problems tend to either be quitting early, saying, okay, that's my answer. The other one is to not do the n minus 2 part of the formula and go ahead and using 10 here or using 8 down here. And repeating that using that n minus 2 one the second time. And that really comes down to instead of memorizing the, the, the flow, really take a good look at what each step is about. It's about figuring out the number of triangles, multiplying that by 180 degrees per triangle, and then taking that number and dividing it by the number of angles.